In this session, we will discuss about relation between refractive index and critical angle. So consider a beaker. Consider a beaker. It is filled with water. Like this. If you hold this beaker above the eye level, if you hold this beaker above the eye level, you can observe a light ray. Light ray strikes the surface of the water. This is normal. This is normal to the surface. So if you light ray AB, this is AB. The light ray AB strikes the surface of the water such that the light ray AB is traveling in optical denser medium this is optical denser medium this is water here it is water it is optically rarer medium this is air this is a this is water okay the light ray is passes from optically denser medium such that the angle of refraction in the optical rarer medium is such that the angle of refraction in the optical medium is 90 degrees okay this is 90 degrees okay so if a light ray is passes from optically denser medium to rarer medium the angle of refraction is 90 degrees here okay so here the angle of incidence is called critical angle and the angle of refraction is 90 degrees angle of incidence is called critical angle so what is the angle of incidence here this is normal lm okay here the angle of incidence is angle abm is a here the ang angle abm is critical angle this is denoted by ic or c okay ic or angle c what do you observe here here the light ray is passes from denser medium to rarer medium with the refractive angle is here the refractive angle is 90 degrees okay so in the medium the rarer medium is air this is medium 1 and the denser medium water this is medium 2 so as rays of light are traveling from medium 2 to medium 1 so what is the refractive index according to the Snell's law 2 mu 1 is equal to sin i by sin r sin i by sin r it is i incident angle and refractive angle is r ok so uh, according to the Snell's law the ref um, refractive index is, is equal to sin i by sin r when a light ray travels from medium 2 medium 1 the refractive index is sin i by sin r now here Consider the angles, the incident angle is I, that is IC, okay, incident angle is IC and that is critical angle, incident angle is critical angle, so we can return as IC and what is the refractive angle here, 90 degrees, so R is equal to 90 degrees, sin 90 degrees, this is sin 90 degrees, next, so 2 mu 1 is written as sin critical sin ic by 1 sin ic by 1 ok why it is become 1 because sin 90 is equal to since sin 90 is equal to 1 ok so this can be written as like this ok 2 mu 1 can be written, li written as like this 1 by 1 mu 2 that is equal to 1 by sin ic ok 1 by sin ic ok this can be written as like this 